In the race for president, a local lawmaker has made his decision 2016, now vowing to support a third party candidate. Representative Scott Ridgell says he's now backing former Governor Gary Johnson, a libertarian. The endorsement has already forced him to resign from the local Republican Party. Tenor News Sides' Joe Fisher sat down one on one with Ridgell about the decision. Joe? Anita, Tom Ridgell says he's still a Republican and still a member of the Republican Party of Virginia. But today, he resigned from his local unit, the Virginia Beach Republican Party. That's because that group's bylaws prohibit their members from endorsing a candidate outside the party. So before the group kicked Ridgell out, he says he left on his own. The first word you think of when you hear Donald Trump. Incompetent. Hillary Clinton. Liar. Less than 100 days until decision 2016, and the outgoing Republican congressman from Virginia's 2nd District says the top two contenders for president are not qualified in both policy and character. You know, what I wake up every day thinking about is our country. So when Republicans nationwide started backing Donald Trump in large numbers, Representative Scott Ridgell says he gave the businessman a chance. Maybe he'll pivot and become a more statesmanlike person, a person who would conduct himself in a manner that's worthy of the office. Ridgell says that never happened. So he backed Marco Rubio in Virginia's March primary. Just last week, Ridgell took to Facebook to condemn Trump's comments comparing his sacrifices in creating jobs to the sacrifices of a family who lost a loved one in the line of duty. It was egregious. And I thought, no, what do we stand for as Republicans? And we better stand for something. With smaller government and eliminating our country's debt in mind, Ridgell says he'll now back former New Mexico Governor Gary Johnson for president. I saw uh, plenty of alignment for, I believe, both Democrats and Republicans who are looking for a home. Ridgell says a third party campaign is a hard sell to voters, but he says he's supporting something he believes in, and he doesn't believe he's alone. I fully acknowledge that the odds of him winning are far, far less than, than the others. I would also argue that they are far greater than most people recognize. And the goal now is getting Johnson to 15% in the polls. Ridgell says that'll get him on the debate stages this fall. So far, Ridgell says he hasn't spoken to Johnson, but if asked, he will campaign for him. There's still no word on if the state Republican Party will take any action against Ridgell for endorsing a non-Republican candidate. I'm Joe Fisher, 10 on your side.